Hello Bond fans, uh, Calvin Dyson here with uh, a very sad video really um, to uh, basically talk about uh, the fact that the main man himself, Sir Sean Connery of course, um, has passed away, this news being reported on the 31st of October 2020. Reading from the uh, BBC obituary, uh, it says that uh, Sir Sean died peacefully in his sleep while in the Bahamas after having been unwell for some time, his son said. Jason Connery said his father had, uh, in quotes, had many of his family who could be in the Bahamas around him when he died overnight in Nassau. Uh, he said, we are all working at understanding this huge event as it only happened so recently, even though dad uh, has been unwell for some time. A sad day for all who knew and loved my dad and a sad loss for all the people around the world who enjoyed the wonderful gift he had as an actor. Obviously, it goes without saying that thoughts are obviously with his family and his close friends and the, the people who he knew in life who are obviously going to be uh, grieving quite, you know, at, at this time. It's uh, a strange thing kind of dealing with grief as a, a, as a fan, I, I, I always find. It's uh, particularly when it's someone who I've certainly never met, Sean Connery, and I, I don't suppose many of you watching this video will have met him or or anything like that, and yet it's so... When I read the news, it was really, I felt it in my stomach, it was such a gut punch, because it's just so strange to sort of hear of uh, a hero, a childhood hero for most of us, I think most of us become Bond fans when we're in, you know, in, in uh, childhood years, in adolescence, and you know, Sean Connery is one of our childhood heroes, and when he passes away, it's it, it's a very strange, uh, yeah, it's it's strange and sad. It's obviously very important to kind of look at the legacy that he's leaving behind, that he's leaving the world with, which is just, <laughs> I mean, I, I can't emphasize enough just how much of an icon of cinema Sean Connery was. Like, he, particularly as, J like, Sean Connery as James Bond is just one of those totally iconic parts, like, actor-role combination, like, up there, you know, like, Charlie Chaplin as the Tramp, um, Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, Sigourney Weaver as Ellen Ripley, uh, Judy Garland as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, Sean Connery as James Bond, like, it, it, it is just one of those absolute, like, mo you know, top ten most famous and well-known and renowned performances and actor role combination, and not many people can leave behind the kind of legacy that he has left behind, and obviously that needs to be celebrated and should continue to be celebrated. The man was a phenomenally talented performer. If you're watching this video because you follow this channel, then obviously I think, you know, James Bond is the role that we all most associate with him. Certainly that's the role that first comes to mind, and all of the obituaries are obviously saying, you know, most well-known for playing the role of James Bond, the first first James Bond on the on the big screen. Um, but I, I and, and obviously I think, you know, his work in the series it is going to stand the test of time for decades, centuries, generations, so long as human beings are consuming film, feature films as entertainment, those films are going to be there, his work is going to be there, and it's going to be celebrated and enjoyed and analysed and appreciated and all those fantastic things, so it's some kind of legacy, really. Um, but I do also want to say that uh, he, he, he obviously was a phenomenally talented actor outside of the role of James Bond as well, and I kind of want to give a shout out to some of my other favourite performances of his, because his talents were beyond this one part, like, by a way. Um, in his later years, I think most of us have probably seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, in which he gives a fantastic comedic performance as the dad of Indiana Jones, and uh, and so much of that character was him bringing that to the screen as well, this kind of kooky uh, professor type. That wasn't initially how the character was conceived, but Connery wanted to play it that way and he wanted to do something a bit different, and so it was a lot of his notes that were taken on board for that character, and thank goodness they were, because 
as Indiana Jones' dad, as Henry Jones Sr., he's just absolutely fantastic. He gives a really great comedic performance. And you don't really associate Connery with comedy because he's known for these debonair, you know, very suave, very sexy roles. But in that film, he's just phenomenal. There's The Rock as well, the Michael Bay action film, which is a tremendous bit of fun. And he's so good in it, co-starring with Nicolas Cage. He's It's a great later in his career acting role. It kind of feels like, uh, you know, his James Bond, you know, 20, 30 years after the fact. Um, so those those were two of my favourite films from, from the um, latter part of his career. Uh, two earlier films I don't know if they're seen so much that I would very much recommend. Uh, one of which I recommend you seek out is uh, an old Disney film called Darby O'Gill and the Little People. And Sean Connery is He's more of a supporting part in it, I guess. Um, well, one of the like, main three leads, I suppose. Um, and it's like a Disney family-friendly musical kind of thing. It was apparently that what that was one of the films that um, kind of put him in contention for the role of, of James Bond. Um, Albert R. Broccoli, could be Broccoli's uh, wife, I believe, saw it and thought like, oh, this guy's really sexy. He'd be a, a good James Bond, um, to put it mildly. Um... So that, that's that's an early performance that I recommend seeking out. But another film where I think he gives one of the best and most underrated performances of his entire career is Alfred Hitchcock's Marnie. Uh, it's it, a, 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 a favourite film of mine, certainly. He plays one of the two leads along with Tippi Hedren. And uh, under Hitchcock's direction, he's just phenomenal. He, he plays a really terrific part in that. Challenging. The character isn't necessarily the most likable of of men, but Connery brings so much to it, a great complexity to it. He's leaving behind a hugely diverse filmography. I think he was in so many genres. He could just, I mean, Murder on the Orient Express, the 70s version I, I saw, re-watched uh, re recently, and he's uh, a supporting character in that, really, but again, very good. Um, Untouchables, obviously, he won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for that part. Um, which, which, you know, it, it it's kind of strange that that came so late in his career. You would have thought that he would have received such, you know, more of those kinds of accolades and nominations and, and, and whatnot. But, uh, but there we go. It goes without saying that uh, 2020 has been a pretty horrible year. So it's, yeah, it, it really sucks. It's really sad and crappy. And I hope that you're doing okay if you've been, you know, if, if this hit you in the gut like it did me. My God, I, um, yeah, it was quite... I saw the news. I, I, I think I was a bit late seeing the news, actually. I was just finishing up lunch with my partner and... Um, we play chess quite a bit while well, we, we have a chess board on the dining table and we play chess when we're having lunch. And obviously whenever I, you know, see a chess board or think of chess, I think of From Russia With Love. So I, I think of, you know, that film and of Sean Connery's portrayal in that film. And uh, yeah, and then it was, I just looked at my phone and there were all these notifications. And uh, the top one I saw was from my sister saying, you know, oh, sorry to hear and all that kind of stuff, and I was like, huh. And then, funnily enough, the first thing that sprang to mind was, oh, Sean Connery's passed away, and then obviously I checked the BBC, and indeed, he, he the news, of, yeah, was there. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, I, I hope you're doing okay. I think the important thing is to celebrate the man's life, celebrate the man's work. He's leaving behind an incredible legacy, an enviably incredible legacy for any human being to have had the effect that he's had on so many people to have inspired and entertained quite possibly billions of people. Like, that's a, an astonishing uh, feat. And, um, you know, I'll be pouring myself a... A glass of scotch tonight, and, uh, you know, I, th I think I'll be popping in from Russia with love. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope you will be celebrating the man's life as well in, in some small way. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this time, Bond fans. So long and take care.